Anyway, back to the 500k squad ratio. I mean, in all honesty, like 500k is like an amount most people should have by now, unless you like a pack god or just pack like flipping Ronaldo's and Messi's and shit for fun. You're probably just gonna have like an average team. It's like I'd assume by now most people would have at least like 500k in their clubs to build the team. So the first player for like goalkeeper will definitely have to be Loris, even though he's like he's not the best keeper in all honesty, but. He does the job to say the least. Then definitely Lafraud. Lafraud is actually quite decent for some reason. I mean it's obviously his pace because like he pocket Mbappe and shit like that, that's how good he is. Then you can either get Rudiger. He's a good option, decent player, but like nothing too special. At least that's what I think. Then Babu, obviously. Lafraud and Babu always go together. Then you have Region. Like, I mean, you could honestly change Region for Robertson, <clears throat> but I mean, I'm not gonna change it for now. Because I actually really enjoy playing with this team for some reason. Center mids, not center mids, change it to midfielders. You have, firstly, you have Koretka, who is absolute beast. Koretka is just flipping amazing, honestly. He literally plays like he's like an icon or even better than an icon in all honesty. That's how good he plays. But I guess it's a good thing. The next we'll go on to striker who is the brain but obviously he does not play in that position. Left wing is Sterling. And right wing as you saw earlier will be Leroy Sané. Who is a right mid who actually do need to change to a right winger. And then as Cam, you have the one and only Timo Werner. But the thing is, I don't actually play in this formation a lot. Like, okay, for example, if you look at Sane's stats, I mean, 51 games, 21 goals, 14 assists. Okay. The brain, I literally just picked him up. Four games, one goal, three assists. It's good. Sterling is 51 games, 24 goals, nine assists. Fabinho, I literally just trying him out at the moment. Werner. Werner, the absolute beast. He is genuinely so good. A bit of his finishing, which is why I put a sniper on him, just to help with that shot. Just so he can finish a bit better. Goretzka. For some reason, I don't understand why. Even though I have Goretzka, like playing box to box he tends to get like a lot of assists and goals but you might be wondering like why the hell do my right winger and left winger usually have like like so little goals it's the thing is because like in my custom tactics um i play 4-4-2 now i don't like to like sit back but most people but like very very attacking and then fast pulled out forward runs whatever and then you can see like over here like basically Werner and the brain play up top Sterling Sane because like I like to play on the wings a lot so it makes it a bit easier and you can see on like the instruction Werner is actually the wrong thing he is meant to be getting behind Kevin the brain is meant to be a false nine because I like a false nine because you always drop back and in this FIFA uh, finesse shots from just outside of the box are actually overpowered and with Kevin the brain shot they go in a lot is what I've like seen in like a few videos and stuff so like honestly that's a good option so Kevin De Bruyne falls 9 to get those finesse Werner's running behind Fabinho have staying back cover wing and Goretzka have like everything normal just cover center Sane is getting behind Sterling is getting behind Region is stay back Babu is also stay back and I guess like that's how I basically play the game because like it's a bit more attacking more fun and then like I usually play 4-4-2 for most of the game because like I enjoy having like possession but like when I can't break like an opponent down then I usually go to this year it's like just like 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, just in case like the person is like really good at defending so it gives me like a different like with two strikers up front like two proper strikers like not where one is like getting behind but I guess like that's what basically works for me but if you're looking at the team I guess like you're most like easiest upgrades will either have to be like Fabinho for example 
you have to get like a Kante over there, but Kante is like basically worth this entire squad. So obviously it's definitely not going to work out at the moment. A second upgrade, if you do have more money, could be Gomez for Rudiger. Or you can even decide to get, if you have a lot of money, Varane, which would be a lot, a lot better than Rudiger. And yeah, I guess that's really about it. Of course, your Sterling could be changed into a Son, a Mane, which will be a bit better. But like, the only person who I doubt I'm going to change anytime soon is Goretzka. I swear, Goretzka is just like, on a completely like different level compared to like all of the other cards I've played with and like I actually had like Sterling over here at one stage not Sterling I mean like what's his name Cancelo he was actually really really good as a right back so like that might be a good option for you and like Sterling's price are actually packed in so like it's like 60 or 70 I got the brain for like 180 I packed Bonner. <laughs> I packed Fabinho Tony I got like 7,000 Region I bought like 1,000 he's like literally that cheap Mbabu was 8,000 I packed Lacroix I packed Loris and I also packed actually no I bought Sade for 13 but like honestly the most impressive people on this team have to be Werner, Goretzka and Sane. Sane for some reason is just an absolute beast like the runs he makes and everything like that there even Goretzka and I guess those are like the people you like should definitely try getting into your team is like a Werner and a Goretzka. Sterling is just like his man to say the least. The brain I haven't really played with him too much actually. I actually had Havertz playing alongside Werner in that false nine position when I play 4-4-2. Havertz was actually really really good. So if the brainer does not perform I'm probably going to sell him and maybe try at Bruno just to see how it is. And then yeah, I guess that's about it for the 500k squad.